Hello, hello, this is Budgets with Grace, where I give you a glimpse of my life using the lens of my budget. My name's Grace. Today is the day before payday, so I get to bring you a budget with me, my favorite kind of videos to make, obviously because I get to budget. I am funding the month of June, and so you'll see me enter my paycheck and budget into the future. I'll try to stay at least a month ahead and fund some of my bigger goals. If you don't recognize the software you're seeing right now, it's called YNAB or You Need a Budget. It's some of the best budgeting software out there, so if you want to give it a try, there's a link in my description below. If you see some features in my account that you don't recognize in your own, then it's probably part of Toolkit for YNAB. That's also uh, in my description. It's a free Google Chrome and Firefox browser extension, and you can also find a link for that in my description. Aside from that, if you want to support me, there are links to follow me on Instagram and support me through Buy Me a Coffee. And as always, you can like, comment, subscribe, all the things. First things first, going into my checking, and I have my Creative Circle paycheck here. I looked at the pending transaction, and it's actually two cents higher. Pretty typical for it to fluctuate by that much. I'm going to enter now, and just like that, I have money to be budgeted. So there is one thing in May, because of the way my toilet installation went, which I did end up having to call a plumber, um, that was about 75 bucks, and I think it was totally worth it because now I can rest easy knowing that it's installed correctly. And um, I just ran into an issue that I didn't know how to solve. And um, it was money worth spending. And I also needed, like, tools and a bunch of things like that. So um, what category was that in? I think I started putting it under condo upgrades. That's right. But I covered the overspending. Let's look at my recent moves. So I took from home goods this is when i recategorize something never mind la 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 yes so i moved new house stuff into condo upgrades and before that i took from food with friends and groceries oh not for food with friends i took from groceries to new house stuff a couple different times and so I want to refill my groceries all over the place so I'll do plus 100 and minus 19 to reach that goal again the other thing that's happening Forest, uh, I'm going to tap into this forest fund. He just got a new job, and I would prefer him to have uh, some kind of cushion in his account than pay me rent. So I'm going to break into this and put that into to be budgeted. So now I have what I need to budget here. Oh, the other really annoying thing that happened in my... Um, immediate obligations my energy bill came out like twice in april <laughs> so annoying <laughs> it drives me crazy when that happens so um i was funded a month ahead in this category but then i had to cover that so i funded my half again and now i will just click under funded since i have those funds from Deer Forest Wealth Building, need to add here. Mm, I think there's some. I think there is an extra payment coming, um, which I have those automated to skip. So I am not actually going to fund this since this total is already 500, which, which puts it four payments ahead or a full month ahead. So it looks like 
same thing for this one. Well, actually, for the bridge account, I do it weekly, so I don't think I have those set up to skip, so that will um, be fine. It's fully funded, so let's go into immediate obligations. I will budget here. Let's see, which ones do I owe just for myself? I'll highlight those. Oh shoot, I always forget I'm only trying to go one month ahead, so don't need to fund all of those. I can just do my Prius and that should be good. True expenses would be great to get ahead in some of these. So I'm going to start highlighting them and look at underfunded and see what we can do here. I'll do that much there and then I want to do a different amount than the goal here. I'm going to do 16 and this will make the goal going forward a little bit less and also an even number. And I'll take care of also registration tabs. Mm, I just remembered about immediate obligations. I took the money that Forrest is going to do, so maybe actually it would just keep things more simple if I did fund all of those um, since our money got pooled. Yeah, that looks more correct. So let's go into maybe, maybe I just won't do um, medication, or phone, or car insurance. Spotify, those are the ones that I just owe on my own. Okay, that gives me a little more to play with. There's lots of shuffling happening in this budget, which is, you know, pretty exciting. <laughs> fund my largest wish farm item, my fridge. Um, giving. I'll do 30. Oh goodness, why is it so high? Household spending selected, not Christmas. So household, Let's see, we have upcoming in subscribe and save. So it looks like we got the cat stuff and so I'll click under funded and da, 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 da. I will go ahead and add 90 to groceries. Home goods should be good for now. Food spending, our favorite category. <laughs> oh yeah, this reminds me. I like almost hardly ever spend all my coffee money and I spent it all. <laughs> and I even had an extra $5 because there was an extra Friday in April or May or whatever. <laughs> been buying a lot more coffee because I've been leaving the house, which has been really nice. So um, it's definitely something I enjoy. So that's good at least. So I have been saying that I want to increase clothing like repeatedly, but I just don't want to spend the money on clothes, even though I really can't avoid it. Ooh, I don't want car costs to be spending. It's going to be monthly. All right, so I think I can fund more things in my emergency fund. So let's go down the line and see 
how we can make these numbers even. And I'm actually going to not start rebuilding this fund until July for the forest. So I'm going to add a couple dollars to all of these. If you haven't seen me do this before, I'm trying to get even numbers for months going forward. Um, this is like a personal preference. Definitely don't feel like you have to budget like me. Um, just what I enjoy doing personally. So it looks like if I make this 40... All right, we got even numbers. Yes. I am going to be matching the amount that I save for federal student loans and for my grandpa, so I will put 50 in each for now. Go ahead and stack up a little bit on the cannabis. Immediate obligations. Go ahead and take care of Spotify. And, ooh, I didn't get into event funds. I kind of skipped over that one. And I didn't get into nest egg, but that's okay. We'll get into those next time. I think I want a fun Father's Day and I'll just pick out the other ones fund and I'll just throw this into good old groceries all right it's time for found it found it is my method where I search through all my categories in the current month and try to find a few extra pennies, a few extra dollars that I can throw towards my bigger goals or at least towards next month funding. So I'm going to exit solo mode and open all these. So you can see this is the category found it and I'm just going to start combing through what we have going on. I never really pull from these first few categories. Let's see. So subscribe and save items. Interesting. I'm funded. Maybe I canceled something because um, that money is still sitting there. Well, that's that's nice. Does that mean I'm underfunded here, though? Only by a little bit. What is happening? Oh, I put it... Okay, I'm going to move this to... to be budgeted. And now I'll cover it from here. And I'll put rest. Whoa, why is it so much? There we go. That's okay. Goodness, that was so confusing. All right. 
the food categories, the dreaded food categories, we've been eating out like madness. All right, I think that's what I have, and it has a lot to do with the um, work that I had done in the bathroom. I had already kind of scraped through my budget to cover that overspending. So um, just move this to to be budgeted, go forward, and I wonder, can I do anything in event funds and nest egg funds? So I'll do 4th of July, and I usually throw this extra change towards groceries. Yeah, I'll do that this time. That makes this an every dollar budget in YNAB. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to, you can like, comment, subscribe, all the things, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!